Welcome back to Ace Care Plays Kingdoms Reborn Episode 10. And I kind of have some uh, news that I have to drop at the beginning of this episode. Um, the makers of this game just recently dropped a big uh, notice on their Steam page that there is a huge update that's going to be pushed to this game relatively soon. Uh, I did not see a specific date on the update. But the update sounds like it's going to completely rehaul the game. So, like, you're not going to be limited to just uh, rectangular farms anymore. There's going to be like, five new resource types. There's actually going to be a second faction that you can pick from. Uh, there's going to be a number of different, like, new things that you can now apparently have a zoo where you, like, collect different animals and a bunch of other weird things that sound awesome. <laughs> um, but... Based on the amount of changes that it sounds like are coming in the pipeline, and like I said, I didn't see a date on it, um, that more than likely means that it is going to destroy this game file. Um, if it doesn't destroy it, it will at least throw a huge curveball in whatever I'm currently doing. Uh, so unfortunately, I am going to be ending this series as of this episode. Um, now... I am still loving this game. I still jump on and play multiplayer here and there. Uh, so I would still personally recommend getting this game. I think it is a heck of a lot of fun. Um, but for now, we're going to go ahead and play out three more years and uh, just kind of see where we end up. So let's take a quick look here. I'm trying to remember. We got our food under control, and with that food under control, our population is booming. I'm looking for this one. Do I now have... Okay, I basically have enough for everything now, so that is good. Let's take a look here. Those are going. Are these all fully upgraded? So they are perfect. We got this one fully upgraded. Right now I'm just basically looking around to see if things are fully upgraded. What's my brick situation? My bricks are still low, but they're now at least being generated. If I get up another brickworks would be beneficial. I'm going to go ahead and speed up our in-game time here. Let's see. Bricks use coal and clay. Now we definitely have enough clay coming in. Actually, I say that we're just producing more than we're using. So let's see here. There's another clay pit fit over here. What do they look like? And I can probably get rid of one of these farms. Although that is doing my medicinal herb. I think that I'm going to need brick, though, because brick ends up leading to a lot of things here. I am actually going to go ahead and demolish that. And then we're going to go ahead and get another clay pit right in here. It's going to make those two people sad, but that's okay. All right, so that will go up, and then I should now be able to get the other brickworks. Yep, running one over here. Probably is going to be okay. Cool. Let's say this entire situation is up and running successfully. Put inventory is full. Is this thing getting. No, that. The output inventory thing still throws me off a little bit, but. We're getting enough wood now. Our stone, look at that. Look at how much stone we're bringing in. We now are at a point where we need to go ahead and get, I need to remind myself where it is. I know it's in one of these. Trading company. Okay, trading company is up, which means I should be able to go ahead and get two of these. Now, trading company, um, this will allow us to automatically deal um, resources in the background. Um, so we're not going to need to constantly go to our trade ports. 
That's one of the other big things that is apparently coming in the next big patch is they're doing something where the trade is going to all be condensed into like one window. So I'm not going to be sitting here looking for these different trade things nonstop. Um, so yeah, it sounds like a bunch of really cool things coming. I'm really looking forward to trying it. Um, I might start a new round of this or new season, uh, but I'm going to give it a little bit of a try first, just trying to figure out how the new things work. Now, we're now at a point where we have a ton of money and stuff. Um, let me zoom out here and just take a look here. I can get some more homes going here. I'm now trying to remember where exactly I left off in terms of that wool is doing wonders for us. Gemstone, look at that. We can start selling that gemstone. Yeah, we're about to go super bonanza -y rich here. Um, yeah, I really just need a crap ton of the uh, trading companies now. Um, unfortunately, we have to kind of wait on these and see. Oh, there's one. Perfect. Um, probably another medicine maker would be a good thing. Wait a second here. So do the the wheat turns into wheat flour, if I remember correctly. Wheat turns into wheat flour. Okay, so we do have enough that we can probably get another bakery going too. Alright. I'm gonna go ahead and just grab a wild card here. Alright, so another trading company. I'm just gonna throw that over here. Medicine maker. I think I already have one of these, but I do not remember where the heck I put it. Oh, that's right there. So I'm just gonna do this one like right across the street. Bakery definitely needs to be close to this situation. So let's see here. I can probably do it right over the river here. I wonder if it'll let me place it there. Wow, it does need the full road. Okay. That's okay. Oh wait, I can do it one more over. Perfect. Alright, we have a bunch of stuff going up now. Alright, so now these are the auto trade things. So simply put, we're getting way too much stone. So here I can choose to export stone. And target is going to be but you're going to export until you have this amount. So I'm going to say at this point in the game, I probably shouldn't need that much stone in the bank. So I'm just going to up this for some reason. And I don't know if this is me doing something wrong. It does. I can never type successfully in here. I wonder if it has to do with the game speed. Let me try typing when there's nothing going on. Okay. Let's say that might be the case. So um, I should not need much stone. I'll set the target at 250. So basically, it will just constantly export stone. We should be getting more stone than that. Um, so this will just constantly be exporting stone for us, making us money. Uh, this one, I am going to choose to export. This will automatically export our gemstones. And it's just going to... Eh, doing that automatically might not make sense, actually. Maybe we should export our wool. And here we'll do a 250. And then did the other one go up yet? I think these are both them as well. What I'm going to end up doing here is we have a lot of homes that need additional luxuries to level up. So what I'm going to end up doing here is I'm going to start importing probably beer um, to get that kind of squared away. I'm going to go ahead and trade out on a gemstone. That should make me pretty rich. That's going to give me three grand. All right. What should we import here? We're about to hit winter. We should be more than fine on food. Um, but let's go ahead and just import some food just to 
make 100% sure. Where is this exporting to? Output inventory is full. Because I feel like this should be exporting to here. Export. Like a, where, where, where's one of my warehouses? So I can click this little thing to tab through them. That's fine. This still is, this is only half full though. I don't understand it why. Oh no, it doesn't say it anymore. Okay, who knows. One other thing to keep in mind here, and I think I mentioned this in like an early episode, but um, one of the big things that ends up happening is to make sure all of your like uh, routes and things are doing this properly, you have to put like trading companies near proper warehouses uh, because they're going to export and import to the closest warehouse or storage. So um, like... This one I'll probably set to export stone. That way this one doesn't ever get too full with stone. Here we can see we're now sitting with a lot of brick. So let's go ahead and upgrade stuff. I'm gonna upgrade all of our fishing lodges. Oops, it was shift click, control click, shift click. All right, so all fishing lodges are now upgraded. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade a bunch of houses. Is that the best way to use this brick? Increase our clay pits. Increase our brick towns. Oh, improved grinder. That was only 20%. That's actually probably something that. Okay, I already had it on the other one. Cool. Now we're getting this brick up. Cool, we upgraded a bunch of stuff up there. Beekeeper. Oh man, we are starting to fly. Alright, let's see. So we're, we're rich, we have a lot of food right now. Let me pause this for a second. I'm going to import beer, so I'm not too worried about this stuff. Ooh, 20% farm production, though. Okay. I'm not going to generate my own crop breeding. Okay, so that should help basically across the board. Um, blacksmith, iron bars, and wood. I don't think I'm, yeah, I'm not generating any iron yet. I know I looked at this in a previous episode. Where's my closest iron? My iron, I basically have it equidistant every single direction. Okay. Let me go ahead. I'm going to play this here in 1x for a second. I think the next big thing I need to do is set up some additional homes. Because right now our home count is running low. What the heck is that? Oh, I accidentally placed some dirt roads over here. Okay. Boom. It's a good little area to go ahead and expand population. Oh, this one's too short. That's fine. up. Alright, so that will definitely allow for more immigrants to come in, population to go up. It seems like our food our food production and consumption is almost equal, so all those people joining is going to cause a food sh food shortage. Um, I'm sure he's generating me. 
Not much. Why was I red? Might have just been a graphical thing. Okay. What else can I do for food? I feel like... Uh, oh, that's selling food. I'll grab one of these. That. That. Small iron ore and iron bars. Got ourselves another trading company here. Do. You bring up another sheep ranch. Which actually might be worthwhile because sheep ranching is eventually going to lead to... Oh my gosh, I forgot how big these things are. Right there, right there. That will eventually lead to clothing, which will allow me to get... I think that's level 2 luxury. Let's see, so we have... A lot of cannabis, enough pottery, enough furniture. So yeah, I need to start importing beer. And we have more than enough money to set that up. And apparently, let me see here. Wait, now at the point where I'm going to need to start reworking my immigration offices. I can all start working again. Because right now I drastically need builders. I shouldn't have had this on auto because those numbers didn't work in my favor. And the thing that I always want to like just keep in the back of your heads as you're watching is right now I'm basically playing this as like a single player banished. In multiplayer, you're constantly expanding, trading with other people diplomacy, going to war, like, there's so much, like, better stuff that happens in an online game. Um, seriously, if anybody is making it to the end of this, please feel free to leave a comment. I would love to hop in and do some, uh, do some online with people. So, shrubbery is something that you can use to increase appeal in an area. So as an example, we just place it kind of along this road here. And that will go ahead and increase the appeal of the area. You can kind of put this like between the house and things around it just to make people a little bit happier. So we got ourselves there's another trading company that just went up. Alright. This one needs to import beer. This one will be my beer importer. Ooh, beer's pretty expensive. Um, I'm going to try to get two fifty. dollars That beer is pretty dang expensive. I'm going to need to export some additional stuff here. What am I making too much of that I can export a little bit of? Export some cannabis. I think that's going to be our best bet. Export cannabis. We'll export to a target of 250. I like that 250. We'll see if it works well for us or not. Right. Yeah, this, is, this is my wool export. This is my stone export. We're still going up in stone, so we can actually... We're going up in wool, too, so we can probably set more to even export those. Um, we got that stuff going. Oh my gosh, so much is going on right now. Taylor. This is what we're going to end up needing. I need to remind myself. Clothing is considered Tier 2, right? Clothes, yeah. So, we're going to want this up here, because this is where all of our wood is. We're going to need some iron bars here, then we import some of those. 
And we're rich, so I'm just gonna import max of it actually. Oh, that was seven grand though. Um one more trading company, just like the next door. Alright, now we know our food situation. We know that we're going to need more of stuff. Let's go ahead and get up some more mushroom farms, right? I feel like the fact that mushroom farms go on desert makes them super useful. Greenery, greenery, greenery lodge. We do need more coal. That is a thing that we do need. And I'll get another tailor, wild card, mushroom farm. Oh my gosh. Um, we roll wild card. Alright. Let's see here. We're gonna need another mushroom farm. Put that right there. I know that the tailor is gonna go up. We do need another coal mine. So I'm gonna get this up somewhere close. Look at my should work. Cool. How is our brick looking? Our brick is up, so let's go ahead and upgrade our homes. Man, I feel like this is just rolling now. All right, so uh, we're importing beer, furniture. We know that situation. Oh my gosh, there's just so much going on. I don't even know how to determine what I need to do. Um, what's the other tier one luxury? Beer, cannabis, furniture, pottery, tulips. I should import some tulips. Alright, we'll set that to also be 250. Cool, so that's now rolling. So that will bring us in a little bit of things that we're going to need. This is starting to annoy me. Why do these keep going to inventory full? These have to be going to something that I'm like not paying attention to. I should be able to go ahead and upgrade town. Ooh, that gave us uh, production. Black cards, immigrants, and kidnap. All right. It's a delivery target. You can set the storage market where the building's output will be stored. Ah, uh, okay, that is perfect. That's exactly what the heck I wanted. You're going to output to there. You're going to output to this. Perfect. That should fix that problem then. Well, look at that. I didn't even know that that was going to fix it. All right. We got a bunch of stuff going in the background. Our luxury situation seems to be good. We're already creating candles, which is a luxury too. We're soon going to be making clothes up here. So that should fix that problem. Um, let's see here. Go ahead and get a, another tavern down here. There's so many things. Um, boom. I am going to need something else for food. Pause here for a second. Go ahead and get blacksmith. I'm basically going to get a bunch of this stuff at this point. I can't do that because I don't have iron right now. Craft cards from paper. This is super helpful. Um, so let me sh uh, I'm not going to be able to show until it builds. But what this will do is this is going to... Um, perfect. Um, this will auto generate cards for us. 
So we'll be able to automatically get wild cards. We'll automatically be able to get some of our production books and things like that. Um, let's see what we got here. Just because I know that this is the last round of this one, um, I am going to go ahead and get a cathedral just so you guys can see it. Cathedral is not the end game, but as you can see here, World Wonders Grant Victory Score. First World Wonder of its kind will grant a certain score to its owner, while the subsequent will only get half and then half and then half. The game ends once every type of World Wonder gets built. So, as a quick note, the game does not, well, I guess it could theoretically end when only one civilization is left. However, um, the way that it can also end is by basically getting all the way through the tech tree and getting all of these buildings up. Um, so here to make this, that second thing that you see there, the 415, that is glass, which I can't even make yet. Um, so I'm actually just going to keep that down here. I should be able to throw that into archives um, because that's an expensive card. So that will just help me get some additional background money for now. Um, let's see. I feel like getting some immigrants, that will be helpful. Setting up another furniture workshop. Right over here would be ideal. Oops, something like that. Cool, we just got five immigrants from just clicking on that. And oh man, are we a rolling. Uh, let's see, these need steel tools. Let me import some of those real quick. Oh my gosh, I mean, these are super expensive. Hold on. What can I sell? I can sell all those gemstones that will easily pay for it. Oh, those gemstones are such a nice thing for me to have going here. One builders, I have so many laborers right now. Let's see. Not enough input. What does this need? This little herb. Okay. Food is actually looking relatively low. However, we're in spring, which means none of our farms are really generating right now. Oh, man. I don't want to sell my wool now because these will start generating new clothes. At least setting up a warehouse up here might be helpful. Let's see what else we got here in our tech tree, real quick. Motivation deal. That's probably going to be a worthwhile thing to get. Ranching would probably be good. Trade relations, that will definitely help me out. Especially since I'm doing a lot of auto trading now. Alright, these motivation books are going to go on to... What makes the most sense for me to put these on to? I feel like I'm still in the need for a lot of bricks. So I'll throw one on there. I'll throw the other one here. I think I'm still using more cool than I'm making. Yep. See, so yeah, that will help me out a little bit there. I don't know. Input. So what does this need? Ah, so this is for leather clothes. I want to do wool clothes. And here is going to be an example of where having one of those, uh, I forget what it's called, it's like a, it, it lowers the amount of stuff that you need to generate this. Uh, it's one of these cards down here. Um, that will help out a lot in this case. I'm going to set both of these to just wool close. Is it, is it, it's wool, right? Yeah, yeah. And then we could also do cotton, but we're not currently farming any cotton. I think. Here is actually an area that we could farm cotton. Yep, this right here is uh, suitable for cotton farming. 
but we're not going to do that. All right, we have our homes going up. Our homes are literally filling in super quickly. Um, it's more input. Yeah, I know we need more stuff. Our money seems to be holding about even right now. So, um, go ahead. I'm going to sell the gemstones I've gotten. I'm going to import some. I think that uh, the steel tools just flew off the shelf. So, let me. Oh, man. I keep forgetting how expensive those things are. I need to make sure to actually use those the second they come in on these fishing things. Yeah, we're coming up here on our final winter together, and honestly, like I'm, ah, uh, it, it it hurts me that uh, this is gonna be called short, but um, you know, the that's one of the, I guess, things that I gotta keep in mind when covering these early access games is there's no guarantee when an update's going to be pushed, and uh. You know, it sounds like this update coming is going to be like a hell of a lot of fun. So I'm not even mad about it. Um, I'm actually really excited to see all these updates that are coming. But um, yeah, let's make sure that actually stuck. Did sweet, so we'll start importing some blueberries. That will just help with our food situation. All of this should automatically fix our medicine situation. Oh, geez. Now everybody's like, oh no, we're not feeling well. What the hell can I sell? I can sell off some uh, wheat flour. Sell off some of that. And I need to import some medicine. And the medicinal herb will start transitioning the medicine down here for me. I can pay to increase production on these. Increase, increase. So those will now be much more beneficial. The other thing is I could actually make more medicine out of mushroom or bark. Um, not going to dive into that, but it's crazy how much is actually in this game right now. It's, I, the more that I play it, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, there is so much going on. There's so many different ways that you can go with it. I'm going to be honest, without trying it, I'm a little bit disappointed that they're introducing factions. Um, I think that factions... Let me put it this way. One of the things I liked about this game right now is that it was like everybody was on the same playing field, and there's so much going on that, like... It seems like there are many different ways to play, so many different resources, all this. I feel like adding factions to this game could make things really complicated, and uh, I feel like things are already complicated, um, but uh, admittedly, I haven't tried it, so I'm just hypothesizing what my current thoughts on that are. Um, overall, I love this game, and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this series and hanging out with me and getting the chance to kind of see what this game is all about. Um, so yeah, we're about to head into our final winter. It looks like we are going to run into some food problems once again. Um, I'm going to put a little speed up here on my blueberry import just so that it will hopefully help with my food situation. Upgraded on 10 mushroom farms, so the mushroom farms are going to be a little bit more productive now. But yeah, I mean, we didn't even get into luxury tier 3. Um, we didn't get a chance to go to war. Now, as I warned at like the very start of this series, the CPUs, at least as of right now, are just horrendous. Um, I think I did see in the patch notes that the AI is getting some updates with this big update coming. So it'll be interesting to see if they're any better. Um, 
and I'll be very interested in seeing uh, if the hunting range or whatever it's called is any more useful in the new version. Um, hunting lodges are basically a bane of my existence. I don't understand how the hell to use them properly. Uh, or they're just not useful. It's one of the two. Um, yeah, so here you can see the scholar's office. It was generating wild cards for us. We can set it to like uh, frugality books. This will allow us to throw this onto our like tailor to uh, lower the amount of wool we're using, things like that. That will be awesome. We do have people working in this clay pit. Brickworks is going. It is going. I feel like now looking at this, like we're constantly sitting on a ton of. Ah, that's not actually true. We're basically generating the proper amount of wheat flour, actually. I would need to do a little bit more research in terms of if this actually panned out or not um i'm really not convinced it has now i shouldn't say that it's definitely helped because without this we would definitely still be running into food problems i'm just not sure that this is as good as i thought it was um i'll put it that way but that takes us into year 29 in the game and uh, it looks like we're about to run into a big food shortage problem um but that will go ahead and wrap up this series. So uh, as a quick note, guys, please, I just want to say a huge thank you for sticking around and uh, watching this game. I, I hope that uh, some of you either learned a thing or two or uh, agree that this game looks like it has a lot of promise. Um, I'm definitely very interested to see the future of this game. If the big update that is being pushed here soon uh, causes there to be a significant change. I'll probably go ahead and start up a new series of this pretty soon. Um, otherwise, I'll kind of keep playing this in the background and um, we'll kind of see when it pops back up on the channel. But once again, guys, thank you so much. If you stuck around to the end, you guys are the best. Peace, you out.